Hi, I'm Christy. Thanks for joining me today for Create with Christy. It's been a while since we've had a craft for you um, because of me being on vacation, but I'm back and I'm happy to be here. So today we are going to be doing dyeing of seashells and it's very, very easy, kind of like dyeing an Easter egg. Um, I'm not sure how many of you have tried this, but you can really become very creative with what you do with the shells after you have dyed them. Um, but for to start, you're gonna need some basic seashells. And I just came back from vacation, we have quite a bit. And I have chosen to use regular styrofoam cups. You can use whatever container you have to be able to hold water. Um, in these cups, really I used probably about a half a cup it depends on the size of your shells. All of the shells that I'm using today are rather small, medium to small. If you have larger ones, obviously you're gonna to need to have more liquid. But in the cups today, about a half a cup. Um, and then I just used some regular um, distilled white vinegar and probably about a tablespoon. I just um, opened it and actually I have two already done and two that I need to do. Just kind of eye it. You can't really go wrong. And then, um, the hotter the water, the better. I wouldn't boil it, um, but I would use warmer water just so it gets into the pores of the shells better. And then just some regular food coloring. Now, I did add quite a bit of food coloring. I wanna say probably about 20 drops of each color. The yellow, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, I started doing this some yesterday, and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. So there's the blue and the green. Um, and then the yellow I saved from yesterday trying to do it just because I it would not really turn the color because the shells that I wanted were yellow. Um, I'll show you actually. These are the shells I was hoping to turn yellow and because of I think the type of shell it just did not take coloring well. Whereas if you use a shell like this, it's got the ridges in it and it's more porous, this would make a really beautiful yellow shell. So actually I'm gonna take that and drop it into the yellow. So literally, Put your water, your vinegar, and your coloring in it just like you would for um, Easter eggs. Drop your shell into it and let it go. As you can tell, this is in here probably for less than a minute and it's already a really vibrant, pretty color of yellow. Whereas the ones that I did yesterday with the ones, uh, the shell, again, this is, this is the original of the shell and this is what it looked like being colored. So not very, I don't know, it didn't turn out very well as I think this one will. So be careful what shells you put into what color. Um, and then I have the red as well. It depends, like if you're doing Easter eggs again, how long you leave it into the water is how deep the color is going to be. So I will show you the ones that I kind of cheated and did it yesterday because look, I wasn't gonna come on camera and show you guys something that was not gonna work. So I did my homework, but these are the shells and um, the green ones really took well to both this is like a strawberry one. It turned really pretty green. Um, and then I have the red, a little swirly cell. It took really good to the coloring. Um, all of those turned out really, really pretty. And then the blue is really pretty as well. So when you have all of these out, um, this step, like I said, is very easily. Fill water, drop in some vinegar, put your food coloring in, put your shells, put it down, you're done. Now the fun part is what can you do with the shells? Next week, I'm gonna actually use the shells that we're coloring and I'm gonna do an art piece with you guys. I think I'm gonna make it into a heart, but you can put these into frames. You can put them on the piece of paper and make the flower. Um, put some like four shells together. I will show you roughly. You kind of make it together and you kind of overlap them and you make it into a flower and then you take some twine and put it down and make like the stem. They turn out really pretty on cardstock for a frame. But that's basically it today. Super easy, super fun. Everybody can do this. All ages, all abilities, which I'm a huge fan of, and I, say, I think I say that every week. Um, so this is a very fun craft. Use your shells up. Food coloring, it's simple, very inexpensive, and the what you can do with the shells is endless afterwards. So many creative crafts that you guys can do. But next week, I'm gonna show you what I plan on in my mind thinking that's gonna work for the seashell heart. Um, so join me next week for Christie's Creations, and you guys create, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you next week.